Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCATTV studio, I'm Arielle Tepper alongside Lily Haverly. Coming up in today's show, the art show is this week. Reporter Nick Manalakis highlights a local musician in today's One Minute Documentary. And reporter Ryan Hillwig showcases an athlete moving on to the next level in today's student spotlight. All this and more on your WCATTV News. The Senior and Junior High Art Show will be on display in the CSC from Tuesday the 25th through Thursday the 27th. There will be an evening reception on Wednesday the 26th from 5 to 7 p.m. for family and friends. Please join us for the celebration of student work. A link to the Student Council School Board Representative application has been sent to all sophomore and junior student email addresses. Two school board reps will be selected to represent the Greater Latrobe Senior High School student body to the Board of Education for the 2023 through 2024 school year. Reps will be required to attend two school board meetings each month and will be full members of the Student Council. The digital application must be submitted by April 27th at 2.55 p.m. Also, a link to the Senior High stu School Student Council representative application has been sent to all student email addresses. If you are interested in representing your class and serving as a Senior High Student Council representative for the 2023 through 2024 school year, please submit the digital application and printed petition by 2.55 p.m. on May 4th. Are you interested in working for the Greater Lake Trib School District this summer? Hours are Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. This is a 10-week program, but hours are flexible if you already have previous plans. All applicants must have working papers, and anyone 18 years of age or older must have clearances. Work includes general cleaning, moving furniture, light maintenance, and groundskeeping. The pay rate is $10.50 per hour. If you are interested, please see Mrs. Yetter for an application form and return it to the Facilities Operations and Planning Department at the Administration Office or email your information to amy.sassos at glsc.us by Wednesday, May 3rd to be approved at the May 17th School Board meeting. We will be back after this message. Unity Township's third annual spring cleanup will be held on Saturday, April 29th. There will be roll-off dumpsters in neighborhoods throughout the township. Once you see the dumpsters in your neighborhood, you can begin using them. There will also be several dumpsters available for use at the township office parking lot at 154 Beatty County Road. These dumpsters are for normal household trash that you would throw out with your garbage hauler. There are several items that are not permitted in the dumpsters. These items must be taken to Westmoreland Queenlands Recycling Center located at 355 Pleasant Unity Mutual Road. These items include tires, Freon appliances, scrap metal, glass bottles, electronics, used motor oil, lead acid batteries, polystyrene, paper, cardboard, and fluorescent light bulbs. If you have any questions, please call Greg Fumey at 724-539-2546, extension 4026. If you are a senior who is planning to major in education, you are eligible to apply for the GLEA scholarship. Look for application information on the Guidance Office Scholarship site. Please see Mrs. Kubis if you have any questions, and be sure to turn in your application form to her in room H108 for the end of the day Wednesday, April 26th. In addition, many more scholarships are coming into the Guidance Office at this time. Please check the district scholarship page regularly. The Westmoreland County Coaches Association raises funds from their county championship events in order to provide scholarships to athletes from Westmoreland County. The WCCA expects the award to award seven to nine students ranging in value from $500 up to $2,000. See Mr. Simpson for information and for an application. The deadline for submission is May 1st. We go to Jacob Kramer for the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning, Wildcats. Today, the varsity softball team has a home game against Armstrong at 3.30 p.m. Then, the varsity baseball team has an away game at Uniontown at 7 p.m. Next, at 7.30, the boys lacrosse team has a game at home versus Hempfield. Finally, the boys volleyball team has a home match against Norwin at 7.30. In national sports news in the NHL, there are four games. Headlining the night is Game 4 between the New Jersey Devils in New York against the Rangers at 7 p.m. In the MLB, there are 11 games. Headlining the night is the Houston Astros and Tampa Bay against the Rays at 6.40 p.m. In the NBA, there are three games. Headlining the night is the Milwaukee Bucks in Miami against the Heat at 7 p.m. That's all for sports news. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Jacob. Broadcast and video production, two students have created one-minute documentaries based on the 60-second doc series. Here's a video created by Nick Manalakis.
Nomad started in the year 2000, and it was a, it was a bunch of guys from uh, Monroeville who were in separate bands. Two of the guys wanted to start a country band, so they got together from those two bands, and they, and they formed Nomad. My Uncle Joe had a bass guitar, which you can't see, but it's hanging there right behind you. Um, the first time I saw him play that, I fell in love with it. This is my... This is my main main guitar. This is a 1968 Fender Paisley Telecaster. And a Telecaster is kind of like your staple instrument you know, for, uh, for, uh, for what you're supposed to use. I started playing in a band when I was in college, uh, 1993. I didn't meet my wife until 1994. So when I met her, this was all she knew. I have two sons and they enjoy it as well. I'm Jay Pfeiffer. I play lead and rhythm guitar for the band North of Mason Dixon. Wondering what's on the menu today? Here is Taryn Yotzi with What's Cooking. What's cooking, Latrobe? Today is Monday, April 24th. And today in the main line, they have a deli roaster tops with bacon and egg extravaganza. The sandwich options are hamburger, cheeseburger, and chicken patty. The pizza options are homemade cheese and pepperoni pizza. The grab and go bar has fresh salads and deli hoagies. The soup of the day is chicken dumpling. That's what's cooking. Thanks and back to you. Thanks, Taryn. Pennsylvania is home to many of the greatest football players to ever set foot on the field. One senior in our school wants to be one of the greats and will do whatever it takes to accomplish it. Here's reporter Ryan Hillwig with today's Student Spotlight. Daniel Calabrese has been playing football since the age of five, and he is looking to expand his career at St. Vincent College. The first day, I'm going to call out Peyton Hrevchek, who is a guy that played football here. And then I want to start my freshman year, and then I want to become an All-American throughout. An offensive guard for the Wildcats, Daniel has earned multiple awards for his achievements on the field. I received Week 8 NFL Player, NFL Way to Play honor, and then I was second team all-conference for O-line, honorable mention for D-line, and I was first team all-county for offense and defense. Daniel makes a huge impact on the offensive side of the ball, which is always noticed by his coaches and teammates. Playing like a role is just being like Coach Prady called me a quiet leader, just kind of like my work ethic, helped, like, helped lead my team and help win a playoff game. The support of family and friends has also motivated and helped Daniel throughout his high school experience. There's a couple. Coach Prady definitely coming in this past year. He was a big guy. Mr. Griffiths down in elementary school. He was just a super nice guy. He kind of showed me what to be like a real guy was like just be nice to everyone and a lot of other people just all the nice teachers throughout the school they really just showed an impact to be kind to everyone we all wish daniel the best of luck as he continues his football career at st vincent college and pursues a degree in sports management seniors are asked to check their emails and complete the student council and high post senior edition survey by wednesday april 26th Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCA TTV News. Have a great day, Late Trib. We are GL. Go Wildcats!